The Independent has a stomach-churning story coming out of Afghanistan. Apparently, a, a woman was, quote, beheaded for visiting a city without her husband. This is coming directly from officials in Afghanistan. They're saying this. The 30-year-old was decapitated and stabbed to death on Monday evening in Ladi in northern Afghanistan. The Middle East press claims a government uh, spokesman told, the ta told them Taliban militants killed her for the, quote, infidelity act of going shopping without a male guardian. What the fuck? That's crazy, son. That's crazy. So, I know this is a tired point to make, but I have to make it because it's just so clearly true. It's 2017, y'all. It's 2017, and a woman got beheaded because she was in public shopping without a male guardian. Let me ask you a question. How many women in the United States of America today are going shopping without a man? A quarter of them? <laughs> like, seriously, millions upon millions upon millions. They decided, the Taliban decided in Afghanistan, yeah, that's, uh, that's uh, an offense punishable by death. It really, it really is a mind fuck when you stop and think about it. The things that can get you killed in a nonchalant, blasé kind of way that we uh, often take for granted here. Like, we, uh, we talk about how, you know, Erdogan, for example, in Turkey, he locks up people for insulting him. I've insulted Erdogan probably a hundred times. <laughs> so if I was in Turkey and I did the same show I'm doing now, I'd be locked up. Isn't that fucking crazy to think about? Isn't it crazy that when we talk about Saudi Arabia, they've just decreed that all atheists are terrorists? So that means me and, I don't know, maybe a majority of my audience, probably most of you guys are just non-religious. You're a terrorist in the eyes of one of our top allies. Our top allies! And we give them billions of dollars in weapons every year! That's mental! You know, they treat, they say... Women always need a guardian. Women need to cover up. They're not allowed to drive by law. I mean, think about that, man. That's like so many people living in fucking bondage, living in slavery. And it's just kind of casually accepted. Nobody really thinks about it. A woman was beheaded for shopping. And nobody's, you know, this isn't a thing that's like a fucking huge scandal that everybody's talking about. It's just like, yeah, you <laughs> like, no, what do you mean? Yep, let's fucking... I don't... The thing is, I don't know what to do about it. Because we obviously can't and shouldn't... What are we going to do? Have the U.S. military invade everywhere and kill everything in sight? We already do that. <laughs> and it's made more terrorists. It's made it worse. And oftentimes, we're the fucking terrorists when we end up massacring civilians. Look at all the fucking weddings we droned and... Uh, all the civilians that we killed in Iraq, over 100,000 civilians killed as a result of our invasion and our occupation. This is against a country that didn't attack us. We tortured people. We're doing seven interventions right now. And also, I don't trust our motives. The idea that we would go around and care about human rights and democracy, that's just not true. Because we've been going around the world, and obviously we care more about... Uh, imperialism and business interests and natural resources, which is why we've toppled democratic regimes and put in fascist leaders, puppets, to do our bidding and our corporation's bidding. So I, we can't solve it militarily. So what is the answer? There is no answer. That's the thing that drives me fucking nuts, is that the only thing we can do, the only thing we could do, is raise awareness about how those are crazy ideas and you're treating people like shit and you don't believe in human rights and all we could do is make a strong argument for human rights and hope that what's that famous Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. quote the arc of history is long but it bends towards justice all we could do is fight in the realm of ideas and protest peacefully and argue and have our ideas permeate culture and society so that the arc of history is long, but it bends towards justice, it bends towards human rights, it bends towards freedom, it bends towards democracy. And, I mean, obviously, look, you need to do effective police work, and when there is something that's egregious and wrong that takes place, there should be justice brought swiftly against the individuals who did it. 
But I'm talking long game here. I'm talking the best way to win is to basically bomb people with freedom and culture. And, you know, if I could, I would. In every country that's still a, a fascist dictatorship, in every country that's still a theocracy, I would love to give them, I know this sounds corny, but I think it's true that it actually would make a difference, give them all the fucking porn that we have, <laughs> give them all the, all the awesome uh, movies that we have, all the awesome shows that we have, all the modern amenities, because I think that once people get a taste of liberal, secular culture, it's hard to go back to that other bullshit with all the mythology and all the nonsense. So, I hope that, but, I, you know, we got to keep fighting. The, the struggle never ends. The struggle continues, but we got to keep struggling as long as we keep seeing stories like this of poor people being beheaded for being a normal person and going shopping.